Now we're looking at an overall picture, a model of the respiratory system. Up here is the larynx, and the larynx has got its own video. The larynx is attached to the trachea, and the trachea is bringing air from the outside world down into your lungs. Let's look first at the lungs. The right lung has got three lobes, a superior lobe, a middle lobe, and an inferior lung lobe. The left lung only has got two lobes. It has got a superior lobe and an inferior lobe. Uh, there's not enough room for a third lobe because of the heart. The heart makes this little cutout area that's called the cardiac notch. Let's open up the lungs to have a closer look. And here you can get a good view of the most important muscle of breathing, which is the diaphragm. All of this is the diaphragm. The diaphragm is skeletal muscle. It is voluntary. Let's remove the heart so that we can look at the lungs in more detail. Now we can see that the trachea comes into the thoracic cavity, and right here, the trachea is going to branch. It's going to bifurcate. And the two branches that come off of the trachea are called primary bronchi. So this is the left primary bronchus, and this is the right primary bronchus. The next time that this tube splits, they will be called secondary bronchi. So here are secondary bronchi. Over here, these would be one, two, three, four different secondary bronchi. So trachea, primary bronchi, secondary bronchi. This little triangular region here, this triangular region, that is called the carina. Now, let's look at the blood vessels that are in the lungs. We've already learned that the blood vessels leaving the heart to go to the lungs, the blue ones are arteries and the red ones are veins. Don't forget that. When you're looking at red blood vessels out here in the lungs, these are pulmonary veins, whereas these blue blood vessels are the pulmonary arteries.